NDP leader Jagmeet Singh just ripped up the deal with the Liberal government. Or so he says. Is Singh just grandstanding? Or is he actually going to walk the talk and prove that he's no longer a part of Team Trudeau? Do you think Singh is going to push Trudeau to make your life more affordable? Well, Singh is certainly talking a big game about saving you money, but is he going to push Trudeau to scrap the carbon tax? You know, when the NDP was at its high watermark, they knew just how harmful the carbon tax is for working Canadians who are struggling to get by. Here's what NDP leader Jack Layton said at the time, quote, Canada is a cold place and heating your home is not a choice. We shouldn't punish people and that's what a carbon tax does. Hear, hear. Now maybe Singh doesn't have the courage to push Trudeau to completely scrap the carbon tax like he should, but Singh could at least push Trudeau not to raise the carbon tax again next April 1. You know, even the NDP government in British Columbia had the good sense to at least pause the carbon tax during the height of the pandemic or saying could push Trudeau to end his tax on tax. That's right, the feds tax your fuel, then tax those taxes. The GST on the carbon tax alone will cost Canadian taxpayers like you $600 million this year. By 2030, that tax on tax will have cost Canadian taxpayers a total of $6 billion. And none of that money is rebated back to you. And Singh has called for sales tax relief in the past. So how about pushing Trudeau to scrap his carbon tax on tax? Or will Singh push Trudeau to extend the same relief that the government gave to Atlantic Canadians when it decided to remove the carbon tax from furnace oil for three years while leaving the rest of Canadians out in the cold? You know, the carbon tax on natural gas alone costs the average Canadian family about 300 bucks this year. Over the next three years, the carbon tax on natural gas will cost the average Canadian family about 1100 bucks as Trudeau continues to crank up his carbon tax. And here's another way that Singh could push Trudeau to save you money. He could push Trudeau to take the carbon tax off the fuel that farmers use like natural gas and propane. So farmers use these fuels to heat their barns and dry their grain and the carbon tax is costing them big time. The carbon tax will cost Canadian farmers a billion dollars by 2030 and you can bet that those costs are also passed down the chain to you when you're at the grocery store. And if Singh really wanted to save you money and prove that he's not on Team Trudeau, he should pick up the phone, ring, ring, and call up perhaps the most popular NDP politician in Canada, Wab Kanu, the Premier of Manitoba, who suspended gas taxes in his province. Now, Singh also says that he wants to go after corporate greed. Okay, well, how about calling on Trudeau to end the corporate welfare, the tens of billions of dollars that Trudeau put taxpayers on the hook for? Like the $30 billion the Trudeau government announced for multinational corporations like Honda, Volkswagen, Stellantis, and Northvolt. Or the hundreds of millions of dollars announced for the Ford Motor Company. Or the $420 million announced for Goma Steel. The $110 million for Toyota. The $372 million for Bombardier. The $12 million for Loblaws. And on and on and on it goes. And Singh doesn't even have to listen to the Canadian Taxpayers Federation on corporate welfare. Singh can say that he listened to Democrat Senator Bernie Sanders, who's made a living out of calling out corporate welfare. So what does Singh ripping up the deal with the Liberal government mean for taxpayers like you? Well, that depends on Singh. He can stay on Team Trudeau and support higher taxes and more wasteful spending like corporate welfare. Or he can try to save you money by cutting taxes and pushing Trudeau to put an end to corporate welfare. The ball is in Singh's court and Canadians are watching.